Nigeria. We are joined in the studio by one of Nigeria's leading actors. He has been everywhere and beyond, and it's the one and only Timini Egbusan. Thank you so much for joining us on set. Thank I you think you're like the latest Nollywood bad boy. Yes. I don't know about that, but <laughs> yes. I like this boy. wash. I actually feel really <laughs> nice about it. Thank you so much. Got you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So maybe we should start with the very first time you had the opportunity to shoot a movie, to okay. be a part of a film. Tell us how you became an actor. Um, so basically, right, I never thought that I wanted to act for a fact. Like, I just thought it was something that would be a hobby. And then my sister, Dokori, um, <laughs> she was very particular about me not doing it just because I want to do it, because she tried to explain to me that it was a serious um, occupation. So she traveled, and I went for a tinsel audition, and there were 4,000 people there, and I just thought, you know, let me even actually see if I have it, you know. I got called back. It was a really small role. There were a lot of non-speaking roles. There were a lot of times where I'm on set and my boys from school are calling me saying, yo, we're watching you right now. I'm like, yo, nice, nice, nice. They're like, yo, uh, are you going to talk? <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of times like yeah. that, you know. But it was a great learning process. And I started to learn to trust the process from that early stage because it was a casting a director from Tinsel that was the casting director for MTV Sugar. And she saw something in me when I was even speaking and invited me to come for audition for the role of Toby, and I got the role. And basically, that's what transitioned me into a full-time actor. Brilliant. So, small of the story, there are no small roles. There are no small roles at the end of the day. That's why I always tell actors. Um, a lot of times when I was acting, when I was coming up, a lot of writers were not writing stuff for me because of the way I looked. I look young, you know. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know? But I look young, so I'm telling them I'm 31 right now, but even when I was 27, they were saying, there are no 17-year-old roles, there are no 19-year-old roles. So it was always supporting stuff. But I learned to embrace it. You know, a lot of people were sad about it, but I learned to embrace it, and I was using all those different small roles to practice for now, you know? Brilliant. Mm -hmm. I want to focus on MTV Sugar for a bit yes, because please. I want to understand the influence that that also had on mm -hmm. you because there's serious storylines in yeah. that. But before we get there, in an interview that you had with Guardian once, you stated that your sister is your mentor. Yes, right? Is. Tell us a bit about the relationship that you have with her and why you chose for her to mentor you in the Nollywood industry. Um, the truth about it is, like, she's my mentor because she's the one person that I know can be real with me. And I, I'm actually very upset with the fact that a lot of celebrities don't show the realness of it. Like, they don't show what really happens. So you're leading people falsely because they are trying to emulate what you are or the lifestyle that you show, when in reality you know for a fact that that's not how it is, mm. you know? So, um, Dakari is real with me, you know, because she's my sister, because she loves me, and because it's genuine love. So she tells me how it is. When I'm going left, she calls me back, you know? And a mentor is supposed to do that, you know, but a lot of people out there, you just know a vision or a little snippet of what they want to show you about their lives, and that doesn't exactly translate to what it actually is. So someone is just leading you blindly, that's what it really is. So I'm very opportune and I'm very fortunate that I have her in my corner, you know, and, you know, I just ride with that. Just speaking about your relationship with Dakar, yes. you, ha you had the opportunity to act alongside yes. her in the movie 50. And it's How okay. was that for you? Exactly, yes. and it's okay. How was that for you being on the same set with your sister? To be honest, like, I would actually pick on 50 because it was a crazy experience, you know. This is my sister in real life that I love. And in, on 50, she's my mom slash sister. The story on 50 was so contriving was so different from what our real, real life relationship was and we both had to carry the story so for the movie it was a bit weird but when we had to go to South Africa to shoot the series for two months we started to now you know develop a process that worked for both of us and people till today believe that that's one of our best performances individually and together. Brilliant that's amazing now let's backtrack for a second to MTV Sugar yes. there's some very serious messages that always get passed through that show a lot of focusing on Nigeria's never-ending unfortunate rape culture sexual violence etc how did the storylines that you acted with influence your life going forward? Um, to be honest MTV Sugar changed my life for the better. And I feel like as an uh, ambassador for the Staying Alive Foundation, I've also been able to um, influence the lives of people around me. MTV Sugar puts these real life situations on the table. You know, these are things that we never really used to talk about. A lot of people were reckless sexually because they just never used to have these conversations. All right, so hold our thought. We'll come back to speak some more on how MTV Sugar influenced his life. We'll go on a very quick break. Right. And we'll come back with we'll going deeper into the storyline of MTV, MTV Sugar and how that's influenced him.
Hello, Nigeria. We're still on set discussing with Timini Ebusong, who shared with us his journey into acting, how his sister Dakore is one of his greatest influences, and more recently, the impact that his role in Sugar has had on his career and his life personally. Mm. So you were sharing with us how Sugar affected you personally. Yes, I was saying basically that um, Sugar has changed my life as an actor in it and also as an ambassador for the Staying Alive Foundation. I've also been able to influence the lives of people around me. MTV Sugar actually take serious issues, like real serious issues, put it in the young people language, and they put it on the table. So because of the show, this conversation that people never really used to talk about, we were not talking about it. And the trick about MTV Sugar as well is that parents are also watching it because a lot of parents can't understand how to cut across to their kids. They don't understand that these are what, these are the problems that a lot of like, parents are still ignorant of the fact that their kids are sexually active when, at, you know, at some ages, <laughs> I'm not trying to say that, you know, but obviously, it's a thing where they watch it and they're like, oh, wow, so there's a possibility that my daughter can, can be going through this, you know, and in, with Sugar and with the storylines, we're also now trying to teach them how to come across. And we've seen remarkable change. We've seen remarkable statistics in terms of, like, the way that it has shaped the lives of young people. As an actor, everything else I've done has been a paycheck, has been, oh, you know, I'm grinding. But with Sugar, it's actually me touching lives. And it's so international. Like, Lupita got her big acting break from MTV Sugar. So even as an actor, in terms of, you know, aspiring to do more, like, it's a good thing for me to be on that sort of platform, you know. When next you hear that the auditions, if you're an actor out there, come out, like, don't be proud, you understand? Yeah. These are things, these are the kind of projects that could change your life. It but how does it make life. you feel towards Nigeria's rape culture today? It's, it's actually crazy because even shooting in Nigeria, I wouldn't even lie, um, there, was some, there was a certain way that we couldn't tell the stories, you know, just because, and I'm like, why do we even have to still be thinking about, like, sugarcoating it? Like, let us say it how it is, you know. But I feel like I am awake now, and a lot of other people are awake as well. And this is a good time to be awake because a lot of the problems that we're facing as a community and as a society is because we were sleeping when we should have been doing something. You know, but now everybody is kind of like, doing something and talking about it. And we're not afraid to, to call people out. We're not afraid to speak. And I feel like people that are suffering anything that has to do with rape are a, lo a lot more confident to actually talk about it. And as a rapist, if I know that there's a possibility that this whistle might be blown, I would think about it twice, you know, before I do it, you know. So even with doing that, that's a, that's a big way to solve the problem. So I'm really excited that we've been able to touch issues. We've touched issues on rape. We've touched issues on, like, um, um, sexuality, HIV, Drugs. obviously, which is all about drug use and how it can affect your life. Um, homosexuality, even if, if you watch the MTV Sugar South Africa um, season. And I'm just really happy that we put this conversation. And even as a person, like, I get people come to me and say, yo, like, I've, I've, I've met people that are HIV positive tell me they don't know how to talk to your family about it. And I've been able to counsel them. And we, what we do as part of Sugar, shooting this is just one part of it. We're going around the country, we're going around the, the world, the spreading well. the word. And they see me and they feel like, you know, uh -uh. this is Toby, I can relate with him, and they're happy to talk to me. A lot of times these people have no one to talk to. You would not believe it. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. We're glad with the work that you're doing. Yes. Let's talk about how your career path has been influenced by your choice of course, you know, studying in university. Yes, yes, yes. So you studied psychology yes. and now you're a professional actor. Mm. And there are many people who have been to university studying a course that they have no intention whatsoever mm. to practice. And then they feel, what's the need to go ahead with mm. this? So how would you say that psychology has affected your acting? Okay, to be honest, psychology, as you know, it can affect any aspect of life, mm -hmm. you know. So I feel like, let's even take psychology out of it. Let's even assume that I studied chemical engineering. Bi chemical <laughs> engineering or whatever it is that it might be. I feel like I would not take for granted what I learned in university. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you how to be, like, if you actually go to uni and not just party, <laughs> you know, it teaches you discipline. It teaches you how to relate with people from different backgrounds, different cultures. It teaches you how to... Um, network, it teaches you, you know, it teaches you how to be a better person apart from what you learn in school. So I, I do not take that for granted. But um, as a psychologist, I've been able to understand my characters better, you know, what motivates them, what led them to do what they do. And as a, as a human being, it's also been able to make me like um, a, lot, a lot better. When I, finished, um, psych when I finished studying psychology, I got a job as a sales and marketing executive. 
at an e-commerce company and it even helped me with that like with my when i'm pitching i walk into a room i see a client i can already tell what kind of person this client is some people don't like to be gassed up you know some people like it oh yeah look at it some people like that some people don't like it you can tell from the first compliment that you give them with the body language and with the way that they respond to that you know so I'm a proud psychologist, and maybe I might still go back and even, you know, further my degree, you know, because um, with that, I would, with acting, it comes a lot naturally for me. So if I was going to actually go back, take out the year and study something, it's a shock you that it would probably not be going to acting school. It would probably be me doing something that has to do with psychology. I like that you just mentioned this yeah. to me. Please very quickly help upcoming actors mm. who are going for auditions understand the process of preparing to audition for a character. Mm. All right, what I'll tell you for a fact is that I'm also upcoming, first of all. No, <laughs> I'm, also upcoming, <laughs> yeah, I'm right. also upcoming, but like what I'll tell you for a fact is that be confident. Confidence smells like you, when you walk into the room, the judges want to know that you're confident. Forget what you're reading, just from the way you greet them, from the way you speak and say, hello, good afternoon, my name is Timmy Egbusin, and I'm here to audition for the role of la da da You know, when you tell them that way, they already, they already, you already catch their attention. And then also remember that you do not know who this character is. As long as you can step out of yourself and become the character, whatever it is that you do, whatever choices that it is that you make as an actor, is what the character would have made. So you're just living as the character. And trust me, if you have it, you have it. And don't look back after an audition and say, oh, have they called you have back? not called me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Just keep on looking forward. Brilliant. Yes. And last one before you go. Let's quickly mm. just backtrack on one thing on psychology. Let's pretend mm. you're like Sigmund Freud for like the hey. next 30 seconds. <clears throat> what advice would you give to people who may be having some mental health issues and need some personal advice on actually how to overcome those issues that they're facing? If you could give one word of advice, what would it be? Um, <clears throat> what I'll tell you for a fact is that what I'll tell you for a fact is that you're not alone. Um, there's a lot of people that are going through a lot of complex things in this life, and we are living in complex times. So it's only understandable and it's only reasonable that once in a while we might lose our way or we might not really understand what's going on with life. But what you have to do is just find someone that you can actually talk to. It's not we're not talking about your friend that probably doesn't even know anything and probably give you bad advice. You know, find someone that's actually a professional. Search a hashtag on Instagram and look at people's pages that pops up. Like that's it's that easy, you know. Um, and take it from there. Thank cool. you very much, Timini. As a follow up to that answer, you can follow at Mentally Aware NG. Mm -hmm. You can follow them and have conversations with them, open up to them. They actually help people who are dealing with mental issues, depression, and all sorts, you know, of emotional issues. Thank you very much for joining Timini, us on the thank show. Thank you so much. Yo, it's been an absolute pleasure. You guys are doing an amazing job, I thank promise you. you. Like, I was okay. just like, yo, ah, we guys, <laughs> we guys sit up. <laughs> thank you, Timini. Oh, good. Thank Quick question, Timini. I'm putting you on the spot. Right. You and Sharon Oja are always paired as a couple. Do you think that there's a possibility of you both dating in the future? Anything can happen in this life, to be hey, honest. Hey, I like that answer. Ah. Anything can happen in this life, to be honest. <laughs> and in case all of you are wondering, he did not give us an answer to that question. So bombard him. Continue to ask. Let's all find out what the truth is. But To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.